Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about uh, Pete's Echo for the Adult Technologist. That's the title of this series. Um, we're going to talk about atrioventricular septal defect, which is also called AVSD. That's the newest name for it. <clears throat> the old name, which I'm more used to, is AV Canal. And before that they used to call it uh, atrioventricular endocushion defect, I think that's what it was called. So there are several names for it, but ultimately you will probably hear AV canal more than anything, but remember that AVSD or atrioventricular septal defect is what they're calling it now. So anyhow, I think we should get started. So, so this is a drawing of a atrioventricular septal defect um, this would be one of the worst ones which is uh, with a common atrioventricular valve rather than separating the mitral valve and the tricuspid valve there is only one big valve between the atriums and the ventricles um, this is harder to repair um, and uh, it takes quite a bit of talent from the surgeon to do it the main problem with AV canal, obviously, is that you're shunting blood from the left atrium to the right atrium, <coughs> excuse me, and from the left ventricle to the right ventricle. So this is a lot of shunting of blood. Um, this will cause the right side of the heart to get bigger and um, also cause quite a bit of congestion in the lungs which will make the baby have trouble feeding and the baby will be very irritable and will be tachypnic or fast breathing. Um, so it is a severe congenital heart defect and it needs to be addressed pretty quickly. Um, there are several different types. I'm going to try to show you some of the other types. There are, there are types where there's a little cushion here in the middle where the valve actually connects like that and like that so that there's a <coughs> two components of the AV valves so there is you know leaflets for the mitral valve and leaflets for the tricuspid valve that's a little easier to repair because you just basically can put a patch here and a patch here and they usually tighten up with some sutures the anterior mitral valve and um, that will a mitral valve leaflet so that will kind of lessen the amount of insufficiency for the mitral valve unfortunately a lot of these children end up having a v valve insufficiency because you you know you're reconstructing a valve and that's kind of hard to do so um, anyhow that's one of the one of the examples of it actually two of the examples of it but as you can see by putting patches in and you know you're going to reduce the flow um, to the lungs and the congestion will be you know obviously reduced and baby should be okay um, these kids are usually restricted to you know maybe not having gym class or no sports but um, it just depends on how well they do and what kind of patches they use sometimes they can if the AV canal is in a severe you know like this is a pretty severe case the AV canal isn't as severe. Sometimes they can put uh, pericardial patches in, and then that grows normal tissue. So the kid can, as long as there's not a lot of AV valve insufficiency, sometimes the child can do pretty well and, and uh, have gym class. Probably not sports, but gym class at least. Um, there are sometimes troubles with um, arrhythmia because you're missing part of the ventricular septum here. So sometimes uh, the the uh, QRS is much wider because you know the AV node is probably down here somewhere if it's you know a partial AV node or it's the electrical activity is just disrupted so that can be a problem too so now here's a shot of a normal heart next to an AV canal heart Here's the other, the word I was looking for, endocardial cushion defect. Um, before, when I was giving you the different types of names for this defect, 
Um, like I said, this is a older, <coughs> sorry, an older uh, explanation for the defect. So don't be surprised if you don't see that. If you just see um, A V S D for the defect. Okay. Now, as you see, the normal heart. Obviously, the septums meet, and that makes it so there's no. Uh, shunting of blood, you have normal mitral valve and a normal tricuspid valve, so the AV valves will be okay. So you have the normal amount of blood going to the lungs, which makes uh, for a nice normal baby. Now in this case, um, they're showing bidirectional shunting of flow. So you can see at the atrial level they're showing it going from left to right, but at the ventricular level they're showing it going from right to left. That's because there's this huge hole in the middle of the heart and the pressures will pretty much equalize and um, the pressures in the right side of the heart can be as high as the pressures in the left side of the heart. So obviously then you're going to be faced with a whole bunch of new problems like high pulmonary pressures and a significant amount of uh, problems with uh, breathing and um, just trying to lower the pulmonary pressure as much as you can to help the child out. Um, these children will almost always have to have surgery pretty quickly after birth um, to try to repair things. Um, if they can manage them for a little while, um, you know, on medications, just to get them a little bit bigger, because a surgeon will always like to operate on a child that's a little bit older so that the heart is a little bit bigger. It just makes it easier to do the surgery. But again, um, it is a pretty significant defect, so they usually like to fix it as quickly as possible. Okay, this is just a, kind of a 3D, well, it's 2D obviously, but it's kind of a 3D image almost of what the common AV valve, sorry about that, will look like, which is this valve here. And it'll show you that, you know, it has a hinge here almost and then the leaflet here in the middle of it you, know, you have one leaflet here one leaflet here that open and let the blood into the ventricles and you can see how the atrial septum only goes to here the ventricular septum only goes to here and then with a common AV valve obviously you're going to have a little bit more of a difficult surgery for the doctors to do <coughs> I know this is kind of small but if you look down here Right here where I'm circling, this is a partial AV canal. Looks like the septum actually reaches the AV valves, the ventricular septum, but there is a hole in the atrial septum. The thing that makes an AV canal an AV canal is that the valves are also on the same level. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, if you have two AV valves, they'll be on the same level. You know, usually we see the tricuspid valve being a little bit lower than the mitral valve which is up a little bit higher. In AV canal the valves are almost always on the same level. This is a transitional AV canal or AVSD. So you see there's two AV valves but there's a small ventricular septal defect and a small atrial septal defect. And then the complete AVSD is just like this. Okay, which shows you the significance of having only one valve and how difficult that repair will be. So um, that's a complete and an explanation of some of the other canal defects. I found this picture. This one shows the <coughs> the AV canal um, where there are two valve components. There's usually a little bit of tissue here that these two valves connect to. So you'll have a what looks like a regular mitral valve and a regular tricuspid valve both you know with leaflets that come down and open and close um, so you have the ventricular septal defect and the atrial septal defect <coughs> I'm sorry folks I have a little bit of a cold um, so the uh, atrial septal defect would be closed with a patch ventricular septal defect would be closed with a patch too and then you have a pretty much normal looking heart, but uh, remember that there's almost always some insufficiency in these valves. So depending upon how bad the insufficiency is, um, will determine you know whether or not this child has to have 
surgery in the future to tighten up the valves but hopefully if you get a great surgeon I know a few so um, they will be able to repair this well and there won't be any AV leakage later on or if there is it won't be till later in life so um, it's amazing what they can do with surgery now the repairs are absolutely phenomenal compared to when I started when I started this was a relatively new surgery to do and um, you know uh, before that these kids just never you know got past the age of one usually um, so it's great that they can repair them now okay so here we have a shot of um, basically an anatomical cut of the um, base of the heart um, the base of the heart is actually where the bells are um, for years I thought the base of the heart was where the apex were that would or was that would make more sense to most people that that would be the base or the bottom of the heart but this is the base of the heart um, so if you ever hear it referred to as you know take a good look at the base of the heart this is what you're looking for now in a navy canal you can see here how there's one large valve and you can see the leaflets here and there might be a little clef here and then another leaflet going to the end so you see this big opening in the middle here which is the atrial septum and the ventricular septum being wide open so that's what a and then on this side is what a normal heart looks like and you can see the separation here's the mitral valve on this side nice and separated from the tricuspid valve and uh, there's a area here in the middle that is where the septum and the ventricular septum and the atrial septum are intact so I thought this was a good view of showing you the the uh, short axis view that you could get showing this AV canal valve and it's a very important view so make sure you get a good shot of the short axis now this is an anatomical cut your short axis is going to look a little different probably um, you know the pulmonary valve will be over here rather than here or here so um, try to get this shot as best as you can to give them an idea of how this AV valve looks and whether there's components to it that are not as visible on maybe a four chamber view but sometimes you can see them on a short axis view Ew! This is a uh, slice through a normal heart, which is over here. Whoops, forgot to turn my pen on. Which is over here. This is the normal slice, and you can see right here in the middle is the atrial ventricular cushion or the atrial ventricular area that is intact. And over here, you can see a true AV canal, so you see what looks like part of the ventricular septum and part of the atrial septum here and then there's this big hole in the middle and that shows you the the true AVSD which is what you're looking for sometimes you can get a good shot of this like I said in the short axis view and give them a good idea of what they're looking at everything will be a little bit different because this is like I said an anatomical slice so um, because in echo we look at things a little bit differently sometimes it's a little hard to vis visualize but we try to do things anatomically correct so hopefully you'll understand when you see it all right last slide folks now here is a repair of the um, AVSD so obviously you, you need to patch um, I did it again, forgot to turn my pen on. Um, you need to patch the ventricular septal defect. So you can see where they show the sutures of that patch. And the atrial septal defect has to be patched. Now, if they can, if the patch is small enough, they can use pericardium. Um, if the patch is big and needs to be very large, they use Dacron or some form of, you know, a synthetic patch. Uh, Dacron used to be the choice. I don't know if they're using a new material or not now. Um, they also put sutures, and you can see them around the little component of the um, AV valve cushion. 
and uh, they'll suture the mitral valve annulus and the tricuspid valve annulus to make them a little bit stronger. Um, these are the leaflets that end up being the cause of insufficiency usually. So the anterior leaflet of the mitral valve and you know will cause some insufficiency here um, because it's not strong enough to hold up the uh, pressures. So they could put a couple of sutures in right there at the uh, uh, the base or the right at the um, start of the mitral valve and that firms it up and makes it a little bit stronger. So you have a much better you know chance of having less insufficiency there and in the tricuspid valve. So that's AV canal in a or AV septal defect, atrial ventricular septal defect. In a nutshell, a 15 minute nutshell, sorry about that folks, but I thought that would be the next one we would cover and uh, maybe in a week or two I'll put another one together and we'll cover the next thing. Alright, have a great day.